Hello Gemini, welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or about this connection and what are their true intentions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are general Gemini, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So let's jump right in for Gemini. Gemini, uh, personal readings are currently open. They're text only. Information is in the description box as always. For Gemini, what do we need to know? For Gemini. The person that Gemini is thinking about connecting with. Them. What do we need to know about this individual? For Gemini. person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are this person's thoughts, feelings towards Gemini or this connection at this time? Four of Swords. Four of Swords, Death, Scorpio Energy, Five of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Mm, something happened between you and this person that this person is still thinking about. They're beating themselves up here, whoever this is, because there was an ending between you. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. It does not have to be. It's just a sign that happens to have shown up so far. But this Four of Cups, Four of Swords. Someone's thinking about this a lot. They're not doing anything about it at this time that I see here. Um, we'll clarify in a second. But whatever happened, I, I, I picture them literally looking like this. What was I thinking? Why did I do that? Et cetera, et cetera. Tell me more about this Five of Swords. Why is this Five of Swords here for Gemini? Why is this Five of Swords here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, they're wondering if this can be fixed. Is it even worth it to put time and energy into fixing this with Gemini? Because I don't see it really going anywhere or Gemini's not going to give me the time of day. Time has passed is what I heard. Time has passed. So I'm speaking with a Gemini where there has been like significant time that has passed since whatever separation or conflict took place. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. So a lot of baggage here. I'm also getting unsaid, unsaid. Things have been, there's a lot unsaid between you, unspoken between you and this person. Tell me about death. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Ten of Swords. Yeah, a definite, a definitive ending for sure. Um, this person could also be having an ending like in their own life right now. Maybe changes are happening in their own life. Maybe things aren't working out. But I feel like this is more about the ending that happened between you and them that they are still thinking about. The devil, Capricorn energy. The chariot, Cancer energy. And the six of swords. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to leave this behind. I think it haunts them. Like this person is like haunted by what happened between you. 
Um, I think they wonder to themselves, like, why am I still thinking about this? Maybe this person moved away or you live at a distance from each other. But when I see this chariot and six of swords, the six of swords especially is about leaving something difficult behind and moving on to something more stable, more balanced. And the chariot is about being on the path to success. You're on the right track with the chariot. So when I see these two together and then I see these ending energies, I feel like this person is like, let's leave that in the past. Let's look at this Four of Swords. Four of Swords is a card about healing, reflection, rest, kind of taking a break. So I don't think this person's acting on whatever they're thinking about. Spirit. Why is this Four of Swords here? Eight of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of thinking happening here. Over Overthinking with the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords. I'm thinking of someone that's overthinking. Stuck, fearful as well. Could be that due to fear, they're holding back this person. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Wands. So again, I feel like I'm speaking to a Gemini where the history between you and this person is a problem now. It, it, your person's like internalizing what happened, thinking about what happened, um, and they think that this past situation is going to be difficult to overcome. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. The Empress, yeah. I think this is how they view you, Gemini. Someone with a lot of worth, a lot of value, someone that takes care of themselves, someone that's looking great, doing great. Excel is the word that I've heard. Someone that is excelling at life. Um, when I see the Four of Cups and the Empress, I instantly think someone's thinking of rejection from an Empress-like energy. I also get this sense of doubt again, like this energy of like, I don't think I'll be able to grow, manifest, have abundance with Gemini because I screwed up. I, I screwed this up. Let's get some more insight into this individual. Tell me more, Spirit, about this person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about their energies at this time? What are their energies at this time? What are their energies at this time? This person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Taking action, time to make a move. Inner voice, let your intuition guide you towards the right path. Bottom of the deck, restoring balance. Yeah, I feel like this person, their intuition, their inner voice is like pushing them to take action. Because this, that's the same energy I got with the devil here. I'm going to clarify the devil in a second, but that's kind of what I'm getting so far is that you know, whatever they're thinking about, they keep thinking about it. It all, and this is a reading that you've had recently as well, Gemini. So check out your playlist if you missed that reading. But in that reading, the ongoing theme was that it always comes back to you. No matter where this person's at or who they're with or what they're doing, <laughs> they always, their mind always wanders back to you. And that's what I see here as well. Let's get some clarity. I want to use this deck. 
I'm not going to clarify all of these, just the ones that I feel need a little more insight. Clarity, insight, please, spirit. For Gemini, regarding their person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini. Tell me about the devil. Oh my God, that's a ton. The Six of Wands, Judgment, King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles always comes up in Gemini readings. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and the Emperor, Aries energy. So yes, this is about action, which is probably why we also have the Chariot and the Six of Swords. Now, Judgment tells me that your person possibly wants a second chance here, because when I see Judgment with the Emperor, I think... Whatever they are waking, wakening up to, whatever they're learning, um, they're doing something about it. So in a love reading, sometimes that's like, oh, I woke up to this truth. I'm going to go talk to whoever it is I want to talk to. Um, it could just be that they're realizing something in their life needs to change as well. Or maybe they've learned certain lessons, karmic lessons here. Um, whatever it is, they want success. Six of Wands. And they're in the right mindset. The King of Pentacles and the Emperor, these are very elevated energies. Like, these are people that are mature. They've grown. They're successful. I still get this energy of, like, someone that's like, oh, I, I need to do something. I need to take charge of the situation. There's a High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, that inner voice energy. Tell me about the Empress. We have so many cards here about like internalized thinking, thinking about the future, thinking about the past, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Empress. Ace of Swords and Nine of Swords. Yeah, they want to talk to you. They want to make things right. Justice, Libra, energy at the bottom of the deck. But it's like there's this fear. This could also be someone feeling guilty, remorseful, and wanting to talk to you about it. Restoring the balance, right? But I feel like, yeah. And they're thinking it's going to take a lot of work. But I think that the fear is very powerful here for this particular person. Let me look at this chariot and six of swords. Tell me about the chariot and the six of swords. Tell me about the chariot and the six of swords. Tell me about the chariot and the six of swords. Five of pentacles. Tell me about the chariot and the six of swords. It's the cherry here with the six of swords ace of cups another ace and there's a high priestess again i think that this person feels alone left out left behind like they've experienced some sort of emotional loss they lost something that they valued and it's like they want to go back and get it so let's look at their intentions let's look at this taking action card what is this taking action energy about? What is this taking action energy about, Spirit, for Gemini? What are their intentions towards Gemini? What are this person's intentions? <laughs> wow, the Queen of Cups <laughs> and the Ace of Pentacles, another Ace. Look at this energy. Let me see what I cut the deck here. Oh my God, the High Priestess again. What's here? The Nine of, oh, the Page of Swords. So I think with the High Priestess and the Page of Swords, I think of someone breaking the silence here. I think maybe they haven't communicated. And honestly, someone this scared would not be communicating. I feel like 
you're only scared of what you don't know most of the time. So if you're talking to someone, you know, you especially if you're talking to someone about like how you feel, you tend to have an idea of what to expect. But I feel like this person is like fearful because what they're expecting is like the worst <laughs> and they don't have clarity about it. Tell me more about this taking action energy. Tell me about this taking action energy. Six of Wands again. So I can tell you one thing, Gemini, there's the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This person doesn't know what they're going to do. <laughs> they know they want to make you an offer. They know how they feel, but they don't exactly know how to get this done. Yeah, there's the Two of Pentacles, a back and forth energy, a, you know, unsure about which way to go. I think what this person right now is going through is they're following their heart. They're following their inner voice. Something that maybe they've been ignoring this whole time. Tell me more about what this person is thinking, feeling when it comes to Gemini. They know they want to make an offer here. They definitely want to have a beginning. But they keep thinking about the past. So since that's the past is a hurdle, how do I overcome the issues of the past? How do I restore balance with Gemini? I honestly don't see them knowing what to do here. They have a goal, but they don't know how to achieve it at this time. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Gemini. Thoughts, feelings, energies towards Gemini's spirit. I miss you. Yep, because they don't have you. Can I get one more? This person's energies, thoughts, feelings. I want a second chance. Yep. Bottom of the deck. I'm ready to open up. Yeah, because they haven't. They haven't done this. I'm speaking to a Gemini. Enough time has passed for there to be a distance. You know, and I don't feel you've been in communication much with this person. I am speaking to a Gemini where there was a significant ending. Something that affected the both of you. Um, and this person is still thinking about it. Geminis, thank you so much for all of your support. Geminis always show my channel so much love and I really appreciate it, especially because I'm a Gemini sun and a Gemini Venus. So I just love having you here. Um, thank you so much for all of your likes, subscribes. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.